This video contains content that is not suitable for children. The Sims 4 is rated T for teens. This is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, First off, welcome. and if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet, and welcome to season two, episode. What is this? Episode two? Are we starting over? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But season two, episode two. Yeah, we'll go with that of Journey to Redemption. Now, guys, remember the last time we left off? Um, Tatiana had went to visit uh, Wendell, Willow Creek to talk to Nico and tell him about their baby but instead of finding Nico she found uh, Mrs. Champion and she wasn't as pleasant or welcoming um, when she told her about um, baby Blake here so um, Tati has decided that, uh, she is just not going to chance having her baby, um, ostracized because of her supposedly upbringing. Um, uh, but anyways, today we are here alone at the house. Dad is off or Trenton is off at work. She's here. Tati's here with Gabriella. Um, so she's got the kids and um so we're going to hang out with gabriella and the baby uh, maybe tati will read to gabby um can we read to her let me see do i have to like um let's see can we yeah let's have her read to gabriella um uh, because she doesn't get a chance to actually sit down oh great hold on before we do that we've got to take care of the baby um, let's go ahead and feed her first and then we can talk, uh, to read, we can read to Gabriela. I think today though, you guys, I think we're going to go ahead and age up baby Blake. Um, because I've been wanting to go ahead and take care of that. Ew, yuck, you guys, gross, gross and gross. Okay. So I've been wanting to age her up for a few days now. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Um, and, but first I want her to read to Gabriela and, um, spend some time with her. And then afterwards we, when Nico, when Nico, when, um, Trenton comes home from work, we'll go ahead and age up the baby then, because I think it'd be cool if they were all at home together. Um, and then I will let you guys know what name we picked out for her yeah all right so um okay the baby is cool for now i think i may have to get a nanny in here okay she's she's asleep now so that's good okay she probably won't stay asleep very long um one thing i will say about baby blake she does not she is not a sleeper she is up and just up and down up and down um why does she just like drop the plate that was weird. Okay. Anyways, so um, we will do that. And I'm going to speed through this really quick. But um, I am just to let you guys know, I am actually playing ahead, um, recording this ahead of time. So if you guys had any comments or from the last episode, just know that I didn't get to see them before I recorded this this episode. Um or at least a portion of this episode, because I don't think I'm going to record a full episode today. Where is Gabriela? Why did she go upstairs? 
Oh, okay, she's walking down. Okay, I was going to say, like, okay, please don't glitch out where she's all the way upstairs and Tati's trying to read her a book because that would just be weird. Right? But this is such a Kodak moment. Look at this. This is so cute. You guys, and it's snowy outside. The fireplace is burning. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I love this. Oh, I freaking love this. I have to do something with this. This is awesome. All right. This is so cool. Anyways, um, but this just little moment here with them reading together um, is so sweet. I think I want to take a screenshot of this. Hold on. Um, let me take headline effects off and go into tab mode. This is so cute. Okay. I hope I got that before Tati decided to rudely get up. Um, but I just want her to be motherly to her sister because her sister lost her own mom. And Tati um, still has a mother around, but they don't talk. Um, but I definitely want her to get to know her sister a little bit more. Um, okay, I'm just checking on the baby. And, um, like I said, I think before we checked on the relationship and it was going pretty good. Yeah. But Gabriella, um, her grades aren't that great. So, oh no, they're, they're actually doing better. Um, but I would like to try to get her grades up because I want her to have a head start on, I know it's a little early to be thinking about college for Gabriela, but um, yeah, I definitely want to make sure that she can get into a good college, which is something that Tati is going to do. Tati has been thinking about her own future, and I think um, her main her goal or her dream is to be a music producer, but she realizes that this isn't this isn't realistic for her as a single mom. Um, she's going to be going at this alone and she realizes that now. So she has to find something stable. Um, and her father is definitely pushing her to go to school because, you know, he thinks that education is important. He's a doctor, of course, but he just wants the best for his daughters. So, um, she will be attending college. And as a matter of fact, um, I'm going to have her start. I, I don't know. If she can look at stuff like that. Oh, she can. Okay, so she can research universities and scholarships. So I think I'm going to have her research um, these institutes. I don't know. Okay, so she's, she's very creative. So I would assume that obviously one of these colleges is going to be better with... Um, creative arts versus um, science, maybe. I don't know what either one offers. Um, I try not to watch too many of the, the videos on uh, um, Discover University because I wanted to discover university organically myself. So I'm going to have her do some research on some of these universities. So when she gets old enough to go, um, which we'll be doing very soon, I'm definitely going to be aging Tati up um, probably next episode, but I want her to be prepared for that. Oh gosh, it's already three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, oh, look at, you guys look at Gabriella. She's so sweet. She is such a sweet little girl. Um, I'm going to have Trenton come up here and check on his little girl. Um, she's so sweet guys. This little girl has been through so much. She's had to adjust her life as well um just from okay so i guess this is research all right so foxbury institute um consistently rated as a premier university it boasts a modern campus with impressive impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in the respective fields the university is always looking for students who dare to dream big so they have distinguished degrees in biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and villainy. Um, but you can get a degree in art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine arts, history, language, and literature. Um, 
Okay, so let's see what bright, oh, okay, let's change the baby's diaper and feed her. Then I'm going to have her research um, Brightchester and see what they have to offer. Um, what are you doing standing outside? It is a freaking cold. What are you doing? Um, let's have him come in here and wake his little girl up. Can we do that? Willie? Willie wake her up? Yeah. Um, okay, so... Got interrupted again. So the University of Brychester is, um, holds nearly, okay, I'm not going to read all this, but they have distinguished degrees in art history. So basically, if you want to study the arts, Brychester is the best way to go. And if you want to study the sciences, you want to go to Foxbury. So I would assume that Tati would want to be, She's very creative, but she's not an artist. So I don't know, like what, um, she's creative musically. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think her father would try to push her to be a doctor, but I don't think he wants to step in too, you know, too fast, too soon because they're trying to form a relationship, a bond, and him pushing her to become a doctor like him, like he is, would probably be a huge mistake. So he's going to be, try to be hands-on, but still hands-off at the same time, if that makes sense. He doesn't want to be a hovering parent, basically. Uh, she's had enough of that in her life, so he wants to give her some kind of freedom. And um, I mean, Tati's actually a really good cook. She could go into culinary arts. Um, and she's been working on her mixology. I mean, that might be an idea for her. Maybe she can talk to her dad about it. Um, and see what he thinks. Uh, because he does compliment her, her cooking all the time. Um, so let's talk to the baby. And I think I'm going to go ahead and age her up. What do you guys think? Yeah. Like you can really talk to me. All right. So let's go ahead, you guys. I'm going to have everybody come downstairs. And um, look at her. She's such a good mom. But before people do, you guys, I need to take a picture of this. Like I need I need a picture. Um, I don't know. This kind of, the screenshot kind of sucks. But. I don't know. I like it. Maybe I can get a better picture here. Maybe I can get one this way. Really? Okay. Actually, this is a better shot. Yeah. Much better shot. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> let's uh, get back in the game. I'm ridiculous. All right, let's see if they... Are they coming downstairs? Are y'all coming or what? Um, come on, people. Oh, gosh. She's trying to do laundry. She's so cute. She actually does laundry, you guys. Gabriella actually does laundry. You guys, what a mess. What do you mean? Make a, oh, make a mess. Um, he's drinking coffee. What is she doing? She's on the computer. Playing Sims forever. Nobody's coming downstairs. Okay, whatever. We're just everybody's here. That I guess that's gonna come down. All right, so we are going to go ahead and age uh, the baby up. Oh, he left. All right, I forgot to find this name too. I was not prepared, by the way. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. She aged up. Okay, so. Um, before I, um, I have to go back and look at this text message because now I can't remember the name of the baby. It was really cute too. Um, I'm so bad. All right. I'm um, okay. So she's aged up toddlers days spent 
playing with toys, exploring the world and learning a communicate, learning to communicate with the words because I can't read uh, instead of tears await. This is the perfect time to start skill building for the future. OK, so we've got to choose a trait. Huh. OK, so I'm going to say that this one would probably be inquisitive or a charmer. You know what? I think she's going to take after her dad and be a charmer. Um, she's a freaking adorable. You guys, she's adorable, but I definitely have to go and cast because I need to make sure her clothes are right. Look it. Okay. I have to take a picture. Y'all are going to hate me. I'm putting my thumb down if that's what you hear, but she's so cute. I hate that. That's clipping like that. She's so cute. We'll take a picture of her later. Um, she's adorable. Okay. Can we take a picture of her holding her? Um, look. Oh my gosh, you guys. You look. Oh, I can't get in closer. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. I'm so bad. Okay. So I'm going to get in cast and fix her up and then we'll be back. We'll have a name and everything and you guys can see. All right, I'll be right back. Welcome back, you guys. It's been about a day or so since I um, recorded the first part of this episode. So this is episode two of season two and we are here with the baby and this is what she looks like after I got out of cast. And the reason why I'm just... Um, finishing this episode is because the power went out in the middle of me fixing her up in cast. But here is Lyric Nicole Blank. I just want to thank Keo Sims for helping me with this name. Um, this Lyric is actually a great name for her because music is something that Tati and Nico share their love for. Um, and I, if Nico knew his little girl, he'd also share the love of his little girl with Tati. But, you know, why is everybody asleep? Tati, wake up. Um, Tati's really been struggling, you guys, handling um, the responsibility of being a parent, a student, and um, a part-time barista. She really is. Um she's tired all the time. Um, uh, look, it's midnight. She hasn't even gotten her homework done, but this is real life for her. And, um, you know, Trenton can only help her so much. He's got to be, he's a full-time parent too. And he's a doctor. So his hours are very, very long. And Gabriella is kind of suffering. Um, she isn't getting the attention that she needs. So she's starting to act out, um, she's been taking little toys from, um, Lyric's room and playing with them or putting them in her room. It's a whole mess. It really is. So I'm going to have Tati read her, uh, Lyric to sleep and then check on her sister. Uh, so she's going to try to pull double duty here and help out with, um, Gabriella she feels very sorry for her dad and she almost feels guilty because she f knows that she's, this has been a lot for him. This has been a huge adjustment. Um, the introduction of his daughter back into his life, the loss of his wife becoming a widower and a single parent himself. Um, yeah, it's been a lot, but want to give you guys a quick look of the baby's room. Nothing much. It's really small. Um, so, but it's so cute. It's quaint. So yeah, she's going to read um, her to sleep and then she's just going to have to pull an all-nighter and try to get her homework done. Um, I may have to have her drink some coffee and um, I don't know, guys, she's just going to have to do it. She may have to call in sick for work um, because she can't, she's not going to be able to go to work and do her homework when she go to work yeah she's got like working four hours in school in seven 
So um, what I'm going to do is have her do her homework and um, probably try to get her, uh, have her sleep for a little bit. I, I don't know how the, that's going to work. If she doesn't get any sleep, I'm going to have her stay home from school. Um, because if she doesn't go to work, that's money that she doesn't have to pay for help pay for the nanny services. So it's just best that she stays home, gets her homework done and, you know, risk missing school. But she really needs to keep her grades up because she's trying to get into, I believe, Brightchester. Um, I think that's where we're trying to get into. Yeah. Yeah. So um, she can't miss too much school. It is the next morning and Tati decided that she was just going to take the day off um, from school. She did go into work, but she's feeling super grungy and super tired, but there's nothing that she can do. She has a little girl to take care of um, and she is a one precocious little girl, but this is a, what it takes to be a good parent um, or a parent. There's some sacrifices that have to be made. Um, she is trying to get a little bite to eat, but she's going to have to hurry up and take care of Lyric ASAP. Um, I'm just going to have her come up here and try to give her some praise. Let's check up on her. And let's see. See how she's doing. Maybe we should probably try to give her a, a bath. Yeah, let's give her a bath because she is a little stinker right now. Um, yeah, let's give her a bath. And pretty much Tati's just going to try to take care of her needs today, get her homework done. I don't even think that, yeah, she hasn't even started her homework. And she had to rush home and help Gabriella get her, um, her homework done because Trenton had to leave uh, fairly early. And... Gabriela hadn't even gotten her homework done. She came home and went to sleep. So this house is a mess right now. Trenton's a mess. Tati's a mess. Gabriela's a mess. And um, they're just, they're all kind of at their wits end here, um, hanging on a thread. And Tati realizes that she has not helped the situation. So she's going to do all that she possibly can to... Um, relieve some of the stress off of Trenton. So this is why she's decided that she's going to go off to school. Um, can I, can, okay, I'm going to have her use the bathroom. She is dead tired. I am, can she use the bathroom? Oh, she can't go in there. Oh yeah, she can. <laughs> Look, this is just like being a mom. No, no, no privacy whatsoever. Hun. All right, let's give. Okay, she's going to take a bow. She's like, look, I got you, got you in just a moment. But mom needs a Calgon moment herself. Um, look at her. She's so cute. She looks just like Nico. This is ridiculous. Um, you can't, he can't deny that. And neither can Nico's mom. I don't care what she tries to say, but she cannot deny that that's not her granddaughter. She looks like Nico and Mason. And she's just so cute with her little pout. Mm. How is she doing? I mean, she's actually doing fairly well. I probably got to make sure to feed her. Um, Tati probably fell asleep. She did. Wake up, girl. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Um. Oh, my gosh. Wake up. Can they drown in the tub? Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if she can hire a nanny for the day. Just for a little bit. Um, can she take a nap? Maybe she can lay her down for a little bit of a nap. And that's what I think she will do is try to read her to sleep for a little while. At least so she can get herself situated because... Her mental health state right now, or state her state of mental health, is plummeting, um, and she needs to be well for her daughter. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and put her to sleep. 
Hopefully she'll sleep at least for a little while, at least long enough for her to get her homework done, take a shower, maybe take her own little nap, get some things done around the house. The maid is here, but I don't think the maid is actually going to do much. Is the maid, you guys. Okay, I thought the maid was in, in um, slippers. I was about to say, like, she came comfortable. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Okay, so we're going to, oh, she went to sleep. Good. No, she didn't. She's fighting. Good. Okay, she's asleep. Awesome, girl. Okay, so take a quick shower. I know, I know. Take a shower. And then maybe she can grab a quick nap. And um, I'm not too much worried about her fun right now, but I'm worried about her going to sleep. All right, let's have her take a quick nap because I, I realized that um, Lyric will be up in like just a moment. Who's calling? Sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. No, thank you, sir. Who is this? I don't know who this is. His face is familiar. Should I know who he is? That's so bad. I have no idea. Okay. All right. I'm going to have Tati go ahead and take a nap. But I, what I want to do today is go check on um, Grandma Lily and um, Tati's mom. Because I'm curious to see what Elle and Lily May are up to. I don't know if you guys are, but I certainly am. And I think we will also stop by the Champion House one of these days. But right now, I definitely want to go check on the other Blake household. So we'll be back in just a moment. We are back in Willow Creek and Elle is getting ready to go to work. And I think, yeah, she's got to work in 13 minutes. And L Grandma Lily May is, she's been quiet actually for the last couple days. And Ella has been noticing that, but she's been trying to ignore it. She knows that her mother's been going to see Tati. And rather than start a fight with her because they've been arguing on and off, she just chooses to just ignore it um, and pretend like it's not happening. Um, she's trying to keep peace as much as possible. And I mean, it's a super quiet. So peace isn't exactly what they need. They need to argue. They need to talk things out. Lily Mae is tired of being neutral. She's tired of playing Sweden uh, between her daughter and her granddaughter. And the relationship right now with Elle and Tati is pretty uh, non-existent. I mean, it's bad. So, um, Lily Mae said, felt like she, you know, she went years with, um, with keeping her daughter's secret. She feels like she's just as much to blame for the situation, um, if not more so than Elle, because she's the matriarch of this family and she should have set an example and she didn't. So now she feels like it's her job to try to mend things and try to fix what's messed up. Um, she feels like, you know, she doesn't have that much time left on this earth. And I know that sounds morbid, but she is getting older and she just doesn't want to leave that legacy behind. She wants to make sure that her family is good because she taught Tati and Elle that family is extremely important. That's all you have um, at the end of the day. That is who is there. And if you can't depend on family, then who can you depend on? So um, she is going to take a trip. Um, the cat has fleas. We'll take care of that. Don't worry. We'll, we will get to that, but she's going to go ahead and, uh, make a special trip and I will see you guys in just a moment. Mrs. Champion, thank you for meeting me here. <sighs> what is it that you want? Well, first of all, I am Tatiana's grandmother. I know you are Mrs. Blake. No need for formalities. You can call me Lily Mae. As a matter of fact, we are almost practically family. <sighs> okay, Lily Mae. Why are we here? I wanted to talk to you about my granddaughter. What about her? I've already spoken to her. And have you told your son about his daughter? I told him enough. And what does that mean? Well, <laughs> I told him that he needed to move on. Move on. 
Yes, move on. My son is too good for your daughter. He's got a lot going for him. And your daughter has been nothing but trouble ever since I invited her into my home. I believe your son invited her into your home, not you. That's besides the point. The fact that she is practically ruining my son's life, or could, but I'm not going to let that happen. You know, of all people, I would think that you would be a little more sympathetic about the situation. What do you mean? I know about your past. I know where you come from. You can pretend all you want that you're better than me or my granddaughter or my daughter, but you're not. My past has nothing to do with this situation. Oh, but it does. I do hope that that cold little heart that you call, that cash register that you call a heart, is softened. Because, because of your selfishness, a little girl is without her father. I'm selfish? What about your granddaughter? I'm dealing with that. Well... I'm just going to say that it's been nice speaking with you, but I would prefer that none of your family come around and stay away from my son. Well, I can't say that I didn't try, but I wish you luck, Mrs. Champion. Okay, guys, we are back in Brindleton Bay. Tatiana decided to take another vacation day from school. Um, just kind of a sick day just because she wanted to make sure that, oh, she's already potty trained. Look at her. Um, she's just so independent. Um, I don't know if I told you guys about her, her trait. I think I gave her the charmer trait. It just made sense because Nico was a bit of a charmer. And so since she looks so much like her dad, I think that she would probably also have uh, her dad's um, personality. Uh, what is this? Potential cheater. If it isn't easy earning top grades and Gabriella is feeling the pressure now, it doesn't help that one of the girls keeps sitting close Glancing her way with her sweet, innocent eyes. Is she trying to be friendly or just copy off of Gabriella? What what to do? Um, I'm going to have Gabriella keep away. She's non-confrontational. Um, and Gabriella picks up a picks a seat way in the back where the girl won't go um too far from the board. Of course, now all the cool kids in the back of the uh room want a copy of Gabriella's work. Well, okay. Oops. We can't always win them. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. Um, since I'm doing a double upload this week, um, I'm excited about getting back into the, the story. And um, I think what I'm going to do is um, I know it may seem a little soon, but um, I think uh, in the next episode, which will be next week, I think we are going, what in the world? Is she tearing? Tati, get your little girl. All right. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and end it here. And as I was saying before, before I was rudely interrupted by um, the problem child here being destructive, um, I um, want to try to go ahead and get Tati situated and age her up because I think it's about time for her to start looking into colleges um, so, and of course the teens can't go to college, so we're definitely going to have to do that. We're going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Um, I just wanted to look at this scenery. I love the winter. I love when it snows. I hate driving in it, but I love looking at it. And this is like one of the most beautiful scenes I've seen in The Sims 4. And I just wanted to take a moment and enjoy it. Um, anyways, you guys, I do thank you for joining me for another episode of Journey to Redemption. And before I leave, if you're not a member of the family and you would like to become one of our family members, please, by all means, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know every time I upload. All right, guys, I love you. Enjoy your week, and I hope to see you again soon. Until next time, ciao.